So here we go again. I've just replaced this pipe that I stole to use in the greenhouse. Sani is planting seeds. Oh, and old garlic. Mm -hmm. And so we're starting to get it together. I'm getting ready to make another uh, row of, of rain gutter, modified rain gutter grow system on the floor in there. And uh, we still have to go through all our buckets and clean them all out. And so I'm drilling holes right now in the new pipe and then uh, it'll be time to wash out all these old holes, this old pipe. And this time we're going to line the net cups with some sort of fabric so the dirt doesn't travel straight through into the pipe. The, that's what I did in the greenhouse and to be honest, it's perfect. The water's crystal clear. I did see, and I don't know how it got in there, but I saw a little mosquito larvae in the pipe. So I dumped the water, which I put a dump valve on it. So I dumped all the water and swapped it out for fresh rainwater. And there you have it. So I'll just keep you posted as the progress continues. Got a new wheelbarrow. My other one was just pretty much had it. So here we go. I don't know what that was, but it grew way down and got all matted and grew way down in the pipe. Anyway, we've debucketed, getting ready to wash everything out and get some new peat moss in there. And this time we're going to line the net cups with some fabric, but uh, everything is out and we'll start to remix all this soil and get all the roots out of it and reuse these bags. But uh, right now, uh, and actually we have a few that made it through the winter chives and rosemary and some strawberries so okay well uh, keep going here just uh, cleaning out all the muck probably pretty nutrient rich rich uh, stuff there but I want some clean water in here look at her go she's a machine Okay, here's the clean buckets. We're kind of getting pooped and we're gonna give up for the day, I think. But it's been flushed, new pipe is in. Got my beer holders, I mean my red Solo cups <laughs> to uh, keep the rainwater out and keep the dirt out and whatnot until we can uh, mix some soil up and redo all of these bags. Need to just kind of get all the roots out of them and make sure the pH is right on them and stuff and get them cleaned and then we'll uh, rebucketize this thing she's got seeds germinating now so we'll have to see how those pop up in the next uh, week or so but this guy is just about I started mixing up peat moss and doing um, doing the net cups in here but I started putting buckets actually in where the red solo cups are, but I don't have any soil ready to put in the bags and get some weight on them. She tore up, I don't know, about a hundred pieces of uh, an old bed sheet. So we'll get, we'll get that all dialed in pretty soon. I'm going to run the new, I bought all the materials to do the new run down on the bottom. So that'll be coming in the next few days, I'm sure. That's it for now. So. We'll be checking back later. Okay, here it is the next day, and I have a problem. My water stopped filling. Um, I was a little curious. Basically, the little flotation valve failed. I don't think it mechanically failed. I think it's filled up with algae. And although I drained the lines, or I thought I drained the lines over the winter, and it just stayed static. I have this system plumbed in to the same line as that one's plumbed in on. When I opened it, I don't know if you can see this with the rain and all, but a whole bunch of green algae came out. I cannot, I bounced this valve a bunch. I can't get it to clear. I have no way to service it, so I'm gonna cut the pipe. I'm gonna cut the PVC and unscrew it and uh, I'm going to put a 
hose bib on the end of it. So next year, hopefully I can flush it out, uh, flush the pipe out through the hose bib without introducing any contaminants to the valve, to the little float valve. So kind of important, kind of important to remember um, that if your system does stay static during the winter months and you're using rain barrel water, you're going to have some algae buildup in that pipe because I did and uh, we had a really cold winter so anyway just a little little tip for you I've cut the pipe and I'm unscrewing the fitting off the back of it and as you can see in there all of the algae that built up and it these little valves can't handle it and here's the inside of it you can see a big chunk Oh yeah, look at that. It's like a, so much, it's it's like a leaf. So I can only imagine the poor little valve. I'll flush this out really well. Take the valve out and uh, see what that looks like. All right, I've removed the valve. I can't see the little button in there. It's a little white stopper thing, so I'm sure it's clogged. Yep, there it is. Oh wow. Look at all this coming out of here. Oh, there's the little stopper in there. I can see it now. So I'll finish cleaning this up, put it back together. Um, as a matter of fact, let me flush, turn my main water back on here and flush that pipe a little bit. There we go. Okay, it's reassembled and I've put in a, a uh, hose bib here just to be able to completely drain the system out uh, at least get the trapped water i would have thought that it would have gravitated down beyond that i don't know maybe i need to put some filtration on the on the water tank as you can see i do have some buildup down here near, near the bottom uh probably i i flush it from time to time but maybe that's not sufficient Anyway, I'm going to let this glue set up for a few and then turn it back on and see what happens. I might also recommend that if you go to big box stores or whatever and you need a part, buy a couple. Better yet, buy the contractor bag and then you'll always have that part on hand. And I've got all the sizes and, you know, just miscellaneous stuff in here that I was able to build, you know, I saved kinds of things so I was able to build my valve um, and not have a problem putting that back together today so today I think I'm gonna work on some buckets since it's kind of rainy out I'll keep going on these so I've got uh, so I've got I'm all ready for the next step in the greenhouse went to a big box store got my two by fours and my furring strips and my peat moss and all that other stuff and a bunch of pipe so i'll be building that new system here shortly well my wife is in there cutting buckets while i am lining the entire window area with plastic um might not get to those i kind of like looking out but next winter it's going to help a lot with uh insulation and it's going to deaden some of the direct sunlight through the glass, which kind of intensifies it anyway. So, just one more little detail to go here. Well, lots of details to go, really. Here's what we're doing. We're wetting down the pre-cut pieces of an old bed sheet, setting them on top of the net cup, and then I'm making a really small ball. I'm keeping one hand clean, and the other hand I'm gloving up. Now I'm making a small ball and I drop it in there and that way I can get the sheet I can form it to where the sheet doesn't fold in and the outside is perfectly clean so I won't be contaminating the water now it's time to recycle this old soil and add some compost from last year and some really good topsoil and so we're adding let's see two five gallon buckets of peat moss 
one of these old bucket uh, deals, uh, filling up the rest of the five gallon with this, and then two and a half gallons of that. I'm adding two of these containers of perlite, some microzy, just a little bit of 10, 10, 10 fertilizer, and a handful of lime. So cool. And now we're just refilling the bags. She's getting them all cleaned up. So the big project continues. Hi, Jared. All right, the garden's yeah, moving it, along. Jared's getting ready to leave. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Oh, that's it. All right, buddy. See ya. See you soon. Jared. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've called it quits for the day. We did 18 of these buckets and, uh, you know, got the new net cup covers on them and all that, cleaned the bags. And we got everything on the top row in here done except for five. So we went through two big bags of peat moss. So I'll have to get three for the next one because I'm going to have more buckets on the bottom. And I will on the top because these are smaller buckets, so I'll be able to get more, fit more in there. All right, that's it for the day. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to probably uh, stop this video right here. Sorry about the XM radio blasting in the background, but yeah, I think it's time to edit the, this one out and because it's going to just get way too long. So keep uh, keep it tuned in and. And we'll get you on the next one. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. And I only have nine days before I leave. So I really have to keep cracking away at this. It's going to rain tomorrow. That's why we were hustling today. But, man, we worked all day. And both our backs are tired and sore. and So it's, it's time to quit. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.